<laughs> Hello everybody, coming. welcome yeah. to CCL Season 53, Round of 64, the last Round of 64 ma uh, that we'll ever have because it's cutting down to 32 teams. We've got Vlad GR with Norse versus Perivale with Proels, and in the booth is Flicky Flack. Hello! Hello! Um, so, Vlad GR has a wizard, a bribe, and a babe, and 13 players. Perivale has 13 players. Yeah, we can't see any of the skills because while this is better than Blood Bowl 3, <laughs> it's still a yep. bit crap. <laughs> still a little bit crap. Mm. Yeah, wizard, bribe, babe, pretty, pretty sort of standard, sort of nice little spread of... Uh... Of inducements, has he got DP? I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. He's got a pommer. Yeah, he's got DP. He's got a tackle pommer, which is pretty good, isn't it, against Proyles? And he's got one DP. Yeah, tackle pom frenzy as well is always good for those annoying uh, like pushes first goal. You get that second chance. Yeah, loads of frenzy. They're, they're a pretty horrible team, right? For elves in general, like frenzy yeah. gives them two chances. There's nothing. There's not a lot of other options to take than dirty player and tackle for the linemen. So you end up facing a lot of tackle and dirty player, which is yeah. horrible. And then yeah, loads of frenzy. So yeah, this is a pretty rough matchup for <coughs> Perivale, but he does have two edge guys. And you see, some people go mass fend on the linemen, but no, mass DP is infinitely better. There you go. Yeah, pretty much Tom. And uh, not yet Team Ann Taylor. Uh. Are the elves like a couple of edge? Oof. Yeah, a couple of edge, loads of blodge. Um, oh, wrestles in. Wrestles is killer. Oh, right yeah, next to wrestled. a dirty player. <laughs> Yeah, wrestle. Will he be able to get enough in? Yeah, he's going to push some strength in, try and protect him. You don't want to put... I mean, I guess it's just what Norse have to do, but, you know, you're giving away free armor seven hits. Mm. By, uh, you know, trying to base up and, and protect your... Your Palmer especially. Another foul coming in. Mm. Almost as if Norse are just a rubbish... Armour 7, Agility 3 bash team. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. That just try to dice people. Yeah, well, I got Norsed at the weekend. As we saw on the stream, you caught a little bit of me getting Norsed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was one of the highlights of the weekend when uh, McNaughton came over and joined in their celebration. Oh, yeah, I really wanted them to celebrate again because I would have joined in. <laughs> <laughs> if they'd done it again. <laughs> I was sort of, I was like almost going to go head down and miserable and then I, when McNaughton came over, I couldn't help but just be laughing my head off. <laughs> well, there you go. We get the removal, but also the send-off. Yep. It is. But you know how, you know, he might have made three cars if he hadn't been yeah. uh, fouled. Easy. So. He can easy make, yeah, in the, in the next five, six turns, he can easy, easy make that, so it's a nice one to get. Mr. Throw, yes, a classic from Perivale here. He has gone with the, um, the, the best possible naming scheme of everyone has default names except the Throw, who is called Mr. Throw. Fantastic. Interesting couple of push directions, pushing his uh, his own oh. guy into multiple contacts. So I guess he's using him like a big guy with being strength five. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he is a big guy, isn't he? Yeah, but only armor eight. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the ball's a little bit exposed here. Proudy he is, yeah. Okay, we shot. No, he hasn't shot it up. Uh... I mean, it's. Up hills oh. and then dance. The elves are on the other side of the pitch for the most part, hemmed in there by the two elves. Yeah, he yeah he'd have to do the red dice. And then he could have found a win. 
Oh, I'll, I'll share the uh, I'll share the screen there for you so you can you could be on live. Oh, am I behind? Yeah, yeah. If you look at the stream, you, you're behind a bit. Well, I normally um, I normally have my own Cabal Vision up on mine, but because it was down, you were using um, link codes or something, weren't you? Uh, at one stage. No, this is just on this is just on the replay. Uh, but for the Blood Bowl 3 one, I'm going to have to use VODs of people's streams and stuff. It's going to be a nightmare. The the using the codes was like ages ago. I think I just got out of the habit of opening it and then didn't go back and get the live open. And you can't have an SFL winner commentating. It's not bad to set one up. Indeed, Tom Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, first loser in the SFL. It's amazing how close Nick has come to winning three in a row, isn't it? Like, he was nearly the winner 7 8 9. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not. Nearly. <laughs> he definitely didn't win the eighth one. <laughs> no, definitely not. We all saw it. Yep. We all know the true winner. <laughs> um, The thing is, if he does that. I mean, I guess he could have done Mordred, but he probably doesn't want to surf him, right? Even if he does put him there to be surfed, because he probably wants to... No, maybe he should just surf him. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe he should have just surfed him, right? Because he's probably not going to stop this now. Down this many players. He hasn't got much guard. And he hasn't got any strength. I mean, the other guy doesn't have... Well, only has one card, does he? And on a two? There's nothing on the back. Just the edge wrestle. Just mm. comes in the back and, and one D wrestles him. Well, hey. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe maybe that's what he should have done. Maybe that's what he should have done. But yeah, I, I guess he should have just sidestepped the sideline because he could always just move away from it on his turn anyway, right? So yeah. Yeah, I guess he should have sidestepped on the sideline. Oh, yeah, no, so really, not four turns. Needs to force a mistake out of the Norse. Well, like I say, find that weak spot where there's no guard, where there isn't, you know, a Vengabus formation where he can get. And there's not a lot of guard on on the Norse the team, is there? Because the I mean, strength played... five guard is out. Anytime you play elves, you've always got to watch out for that sort of that one D cage dive. <laughs> He's got two guard. The Norse have only got two guard. On the entire yeah. team, and only one on the pitch. But Perivale has zero guard, which is a bad amount of guard. It is, as guard amount goes, zero is pretty bad. It's it's actually the worst amount of guard. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Well, I guess seventeen guard would be technically worse because you've got an incorrect roster. But. Jim <laughs> 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 oh. analyzing all the angles. <laughs> oh my! And these fouls. Another... Another cars. A bit rowdy. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going around oh, for yeah. the one day here. Yeah, really he easy. Did. Actually, he left the door open and scope and push. And his reward for spotting that is getting his agility five do ro Roger surfed. <laughs> And he's going to try and protect it by giving the life of all of his other elves. Mm. It's not going to work, though. <laughs> no, it, sh it shouldn't work. Uh, and it probably. almost certainly won't. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Nope, nope. Didn't work. Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Okay, um, uh, oh, he's got yeah. guard there. Yeah, yeah, he's got guard. Yeah. There we go. Right, another Kaz? Just a kill. Get some extra hit there. Guess he can come around the top. So, I mean, 
mean, the elves just need to try and. I mean, not much you can do now, really, is there? No. Roll oh. a double one. Yeah, roll a double one. That's uh, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Oh no, it was a 4 plus. Okay, so we must have been trying something here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is what he was yep. attempting. Um, but he probably should have just run away a blip with somebody. Is that a catcher? Away. Yeah, so that was without... Without block or wrestle? Or was that a blitzer? This is a blitzer. Okay. So it, that's, why it was, that's, why he had, that's why it was 9, right? That's why he had to make this 4 plus. Because otherwise yeah. he'd have gone out if it was a catcher. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh no, something. Yeah. But that, yeah. I mean, what Wrestle makes it a genuine. Oh. I feel a genuine player, but I guess it's still a, it's still a five plus, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, this drive is slowly slipping away. Thank you, Pogler, for the expert analysis. Yep. Yep. When you see a boxer knocked out, lying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> with, it, with the EMTs being called, do you, th do you think the, do you think the match is slowly slipping away from them? Mm. <laughs> uh, but I mean, they are elves, right? So if if there is a bit of a lax cage, there could be some dice and stuff. Um, you you never know. Um, but obviously that didn't happen. But there, you know there was a slight chance. But that's the worst thing is like they're gonna foul you as well. So like there was an argument that Paravale could have like you know disengaged earlier and try and just give up on the drive and just try to remove Norse. Um, but he hasn't really got anything to like reliably do that with, has he? He's got no mighty blow, and um, he had no guard to realistically try to stop them. The problem with the elves is if you don't have like supermen on the team. You just end up with a load of blood and it's a bit wank. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. You know, like, what, what do you do with this team? Like, it's just I mean, blood. well, with this team, now that there's only six of them, it's yeah. difficult. But when you've got, you know, 10, 11 blodgers, they're an absolute nightmare. Yeah, that, well, that's the thing. They've got, you've got to stay eleven, right? I, like, I think the better elf teams are the ones that have the the superstars in. You know, I think. Yeah. I think the one. Where I think you, that's where, why you like high elves because they do build into superstars, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your catchers have got the the dancer, the war dancer sa chassis, yeah. and like the the way pro elf catchers do, so that you you know you can get those superstar players with move nine, edge five, strength four, and things like that. You know, you get those. Those stat ups on them really make them uh, really give them something extra. Whereas the you know the delves, the delves have got the consistency of six players that only take one skill to uh, to you know become usable. But it's harder for them to get real stars, like really crazy stars. But then they do get this, them faster, right? Like they they start one skill ahead of one stat behind, but one skill ahead of catchers. So like dark elves are still pretty good. Gets the pow. Mm. If he'd had a player here, he yeah. could have made dodges in and uh, got a second push, but he couldn't have got a third. Yeah, and, and having spare players. I yeah, with, with seven, seven players, seven. he wasn't really going to do it, no. No. Yeah, particularly the guards. Yeah, if you've got a load of guard. Got a load of guard, then else can be pretty, pretty ridiculous. You kind of need one, right? You need a boring bludge team, and then you need to either slap on a bit of guard or a bit of stats, and then the stats don't even need a team around them if you've got the stat players. Indeed, okay, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You know, loads of this, loads of this is fouling, right? Any team could have done this, not just Norse. Like, I think, I think. Maybe even all three cars were just random or dirty player fouls. It's just, you know, Pommer, tackle Pommers. Are we saying it's over? Yeah, it's not over. No, it's not over. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's over. Phew. Phew. It's a bit rowdy. We're going to play 1 1. Got a Daka, yeah, you got a Daka here. Mm hmm. 
Nope. No. What's he doing? He is charging headlong into the Norse. Yep. Stole. Like Stole baby at the uh, UKTC. He successfully dackered with six L's for the entire half. Glorious. I thought we agreed that uh, it was three L's in the end. I'm not two now, actually. Two. Yeah, that sounds about right. I wouldn't pogler. I would, I would, I would, I would. <laughs> I would double, <laughs> I would double one a dodge and have him die. That <laughs> was just a single one, I think. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah uh, one, when, when everything's already leaving the pitch, that's the last thing you want to see. Yeah. And yeah, now the Norse get to come right around behind, put you in a nice box. Yep. And then smash it a bit. Yep. Sounds like a good night out in Pop World. <laughs> it does. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is. Yeah, I think this was a time to Dakar, yeah. There's what? There's six, seven players. Whack them all back. They come on. He, he might make a mistake. You know, and then yeah. you can get through, and then. Yeah, I like Dakaring. I like Dakaring. Dakaring is honestly really good. Way <laughs> throw <Troxy. laughs> Man, I'm that that was the only bad thing about the weekend was was not getting to go to Pop World, but like, you know, everything else was great, like it was a great laugh and everything. But I f do feel like I missed out a little bit not going to Pop World. But uh, you know, everything was great. It's not a, I learned not some a... stuff about Throwick while I was eating an egg sandwich that I can never ever forget. <laughs> I will never unknow why what I have learned. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lo lovely little move from Perivale here. This is really yeah, nice. Exactly. Really nice. Just need to successfully roll some dice to make it safe, but. Yeah. Done the first of them? Yeah, and dice we roll, the elves, couple of few twos, couple of threes. Amazing. All the oh. rerolls. Oh, that's pretty great position there after that one. Doesn't come in with a wizard. I guess he's saving the wizard to like secure his own drive, which is fair enough because the wizard wouldn't yeah. even look that good here. I don't think. I think it's right. To the save the, uh, the thing is though, with Dakaring, that it could look exactly like this on turn thirteen or fourteen. Exactly or fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Whereas like, right now it's turn ten. Yep. Yeah. Turn 11. Yeah, exactly. And there's a lot of Norse that aren't slow. They're average, average pace. They can get back. <laughs> yep. Very good, Pogler. Oh, no. Unlucky, Throy. Message me, Throy, if you ever want to go to a tournament and not play Blood Bowl. This is pretty great. We need we need like a team fantastic at events that never plays. That's what we need. <gasps> yes, team fantastic. Get t-shirts made. Team fantastic and just never ever play. <laughs> <laughs> yes, love it. Love it. Ask <laughs> me while I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> we can have custom ones, right? We can have Satterfield can have Ask Me While I'm Smiling. <laughs> throw, it, throw it can have Bringing Bonking Back. <laughs> Jimmy can have <laughs> Released from Prison After Four Years. I'm just uh, enjoying beautiful glass of cider, uh, courtesy of, uh, of you this weekend. Going Ooh. down beautifully. <laughs> That's what Throwex said. <laughs> Could we get a blitz here? No. Blitz could have been interesting, right? With that little cup there, there was a there was a little there was a little cup here that, that this is a good setup from uh, Paravale. 
quite a nice low man set up here, you know, the little cut protect the two edge fives. Yeah. A little bit of a threat over there. The <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was what, eight L's, one cup. Yeah, 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 very good. That's that we should, we need to we need to patent this, I'm gonna steal this, right, remember this match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vlad GR versus Pyravale. I'll do. I'll do my. Uh, I'll do my uh, men's down setup, and this will be the eight eight L's one cup. It's really good. Nice. Really good formation. It is. I guess it's actually just Gadenic, right? It's actually just the Gadenic setup, but uh, adapted for less players. So. Yeah, it is. But that doesn't mean that you can't now make it your own. It's now yours. You own it. Correct, correct. We need we need a better day than the a better name than the Gadenic setup. Um, I, I I propose we call it the Jimmy Fantastic setup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's got a much better ring to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's where our viewers from. We saw it here first. <laughs> Howling is just relentless, and that bribe still there. Yeah, pretty outrageous to get so lucky with the with the fouls. Yeah, and the uh, the pro elves get sent off first foul. Yep. Pretty I mean, brutal. It's kind of typical, right? It's it's very rare that you see like what people would call fair dice in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Which I, it's probably average. It's probably it would probably be really rare to see both players get average dice, right? That's the thing, isn't it? Yes, and it's it's when you get the dice as well that uh, it's that would be very hard to uh, to make it even because you might get mostly average dice for a game, but there's always those moments when you need something or the other one, you know, one or the other needs something. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, crucial you, moments. Yeah, it's obvious, right? If you roll twelve dice, you could you know, and you, you could roll, and they were all like you roll two of every dice. Then they can be wildly different, right? If you double skull into a into a one in nine on the, on a crucial turn, that yeah. uh, then that's and and you know also like you could spread out all the power, so you could like get four knockdowns or two knockdowns depending on how. And that's just like two dice rolling all the same, right? So like yeah, it's 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 pretty crazy. Like overall, the dice are pretty much always going to be fair, close to fair, but uh, you know I say that close to fair, close to fair. But it, it doesn't take much for them to seem wildly unfair. And we always that uh, could have been done. Yep. Oh, God, if you want to look. Like a cabbage, holy shit. <laughs> There's another foul. And another removal. And another not spotted. I would just go back in here. No need to leave him out. Just... Just took it in. We'll just try to stop the elves getting any chance. Doesn't make any sense to have him here when he could be here. It's just literally making it easier for this guy to run in an uphill. You know, like this guy could have just run in an uphill. I would have run in an uphill now, I think, as Paravail. I don't think you're going to defend this with, like, conventionally with five players or like, six players. Just. I mean, he might be thinking buy some more time, hope for a mistake, hope for a. You know, one in twelve, nine, six, or whatever. Yeah. So it can look like he's not doing anything and just backing off and, and thinking he can do a normal defense, but he might just be trying to buy a bit of time, buy a turn or two for a mistake. Well, here's one. Oh no. Okay, I was like, what the what the hell has he done? He's gonna he's gonna frenzy trap himself, but no, it's just he's just gonna take the gaping hole. Oh, but the wrestle. Yeah, re rolls that. Well, he's got five, but now obviously it's gone for the turn and, and uh, double skulls or something. Now he can't, he can't get past. He can't get past. So he's just going to have to. Is he just going to jam in and not he, go past? He may well be jamming. Yeah, I mean he's, he has got a strength five off. To be fair. Yeah, that's pretty good player, isn't it? The strength <coughs> yeah, that's pretty nice when you want to jam in. Yeah. Yeah, strength four in support. This is pretty crap though, isn't it? This is like a pretty... Well, depends if he gets this removal or not. This could be 2D on the ball. Like, not ridiculously difficult. But he double-walked. 
<laughs> Terrible decision. Double oh my God. Like literally, you could have just rolled a pow then, and then run, you know, uphill double powed and then ran around and got two D on the ball. Yeah. Yeah, considering the position he's in, that was. Um, he didn't even need to move forward. He still had three turns. Yeah, yeah, that was, and or he could have like moved up safer. That was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Well, he could have moved a couple of men through as sort of. You know, to pivot round next turn and, and just kept the ball back and save. Yeah. yeah Could have so taken that space uh, and and kept the ball safe with his you know with his big guy. He would have been the perfect sort of fulcrum, if you like, mm. to get around this turn. Is he finally going to go? No, he's put the guard in the wrong square. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! And now he's made this hit before. I guess this guy can come in. To keep, you know, wants to keep it interesting for the elves to make them come in so we can get more cars. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. So we can foul this guy and he's got the bribe so we can keep him there. Oh, oh, bribe fail? No. Wow. A fail would have been interesting. Mm. <laughs> Double ones again. Oh no, just a single one. He's got tackle. Oh my god, just failing every roll. I mean, that was a five plus two. That was a five. But still, you're supposed to make five sometimes. Yeah, 55%. So, it's finally over. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty sad for Perivale. Hello, my. Oh, who was that? Hello. Hey, Timmy. Ben, you're alright. Hello, Hello mate. Not Hello. Fun. How are you? How yeah, are you feeling doing? feeling alive again. Wee. Wee. Good night's sleep. Uh, yeah, I did get some sleep. I got in at half one. Yeah, I saw your message when you said you were finally uh, home. I thought, oh Christ. I didn't I didn't want to mention that I'd been home for about six like hours. Four, when you that. <laughs> four days. Yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought that might have been cruel if I said, ah, it was only half an hour drive yeah. down the road for me. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy didn't find that cool. He he pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Oh, wow. Honestly, it was absolutely yeah. brilliant. I just I just walked I walked into the train station, and then walked on like up the up the stairs, up across the bridge, down the stairs, onto the train. Perfect. <laughs> you you've experienced this sort of norsing before, haven't you, Jimmy? I have, yeah. <laughs> Six six times versus place cadet apparently. Yep. <laughs> and they weren't even, they weren't even all Norse to be honest. No, I did look <laughs> in detail. <laughs> many many times. <laughs> yeah. I, I've actually painted the results on my living room wall. <laughs> <laughs> did you spray paint them in, in white? <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, wow. Flanchia. Commiserations, Paravel. And thank you very much, Flicky Flack and Dimmy. Glorious commentary, especially from Dimmy. Yeah, solid. Dimmy really carried the two of us there, didn't he, with his in depth analysis? Solid uh, MVP there as well for uh, the Old Norse. Yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.